Today I'll be teaching you how to create multiple animations in a single Blender file. And this was a topic that took me forever to understand. Like it took me hours of research to realize it's just named differently in Blender than animations. But that's the only thing I could think of when I was searching it. So basically if you go over to the animation tab over here, and you usually have your dope sheet and such, and your keyframe in here, like if we were to go up, and we could keyframe this right, and then we could drag this over, go down and keyframe this as well. This is great, but how do we create multiple files where we can do separate ones of these basically, right? We actually want to go down into where we see the dope sheet, right? We can go down and click the action editor, and if you notice, you get a little drop down window right here, and in doing so, you can now create multiple tracks basically. So if I click this uh, duplicate button right here, that will duplicate the animation and give us another track as well. Or you can click the X right here and just simply start from a completely blank slate by clicking new on whatever object you want to add this track to. And that's basically the gist of how you create multiples, but we can go further with this. So say we wanted to make that animation. So we go back to uh, cube action, right? We went up and down. Inside of here, we can set a manual frame range, which will then be the point where this animation ends. And you might be wondering, what is the use case for this? There's actually another animation section that you can use called the NLA editor. And that is by far one of the most handy things. <laughs> if I can get the window up, that is. So we just pull this up, right? It won't be in this window for the next animation section. You actually want to drop down the uh, area editor and you can pop up nonlinear animator under the animation tab. In the nonlinear animator, what we can do here is we can actually push down our animation right here. And if we just push this down, we actually have a lot that we can do with this action. And you can even combine actions in here as well. So if we were to select on this, say, we wanted to make this animation reverse. Usually you would have to go into the keyframes and reverse them by scaling it backwards, right? In here, you do not have to do that. You can just click a button over in your strip. So if you press N in this section, you can actually pop this window open and get a bunch of uh, settings to the specific action you have clicked right here. Say you wanted to change the speed of this animation, but not mess with your action. You can do that in here as well. So if we go down to action clip, I believe it is, if we mess with playback scale, we can actually speed this up without changing the keyframes. So the keyframes will still be up to frame 80 like we originally had. But in the NLA editor, it will be at this point. And to demonstrate that, if we turn that off by hitting the check right here, we can actually go up here and turn on cube action. And you can see it's still as slow as it was, and it's still backwards right now. Now, here's a note that I definitely did not forget to add in. So say you wanted to delete an action. You actually won't have an option to delete the action right here. It's in a different window, interestingly. So if you were to go out to here where you usually select your items and such, you'll actually drop this down right here, and you'll find the one that says Blend File. And you'll see all these options right here. This is actually where you can delete animations. So if you go down, drop this action down. You can see Cube Action right here, and you see Cube Action, which also goes with that. So then if I were to duplicate this, you can see it add another one right here. Now you might think you can select and delete, but you cannot actually click and then just press the delete key. You actually, you can shift and then delete like this and it'll delete all selected. But you actually have to right click and click delete like this. And as you can see, it deleted it here, but it did not delete it in the NLA track which is an interesting thing about it as well. So you also have to go into your NLA track and delete them from here. And if you can't delete it and it has a lock right here, that's the reason why. So you just click the lock right there and then it'll let you delete it. In 4.3, what we can do is if you're selected on an object, you actually don't have to swap the dope sheet to the action editor. They actually have a little window over here 
uh, called animation, which is really cool because then you can be in the layout tab and click on this guy and you can actually pop this guy down, press new, and now whatever you do in here is going to be associated with this action and you can name it over here as well. But uh, yeah, that's the power of this. So I hope this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And that's it basically. <laughs> and inside of here, you'll notice this piece right here, but it is not actually popped in. You actually have to, oh, actually it is popped. <laughs> actually it is popped in, 